Arsenal, Arsenal draw 1 1 to Fulham at home. Well done, lads. I'm going to jump around and celebrate. Yay! We fucking scored a late equaliser against 18th placed Fulham. Get in there! Are you, are you actually taking the piss? Do we, did you see the way the players were celebrating at the end there? Embarrassing. Absolutely embarrassing, bruv. Hey, you can like you can cheer a little bit. Carry the fucking ball, run to the halfway line, try and get the winner, bruv. Eddie and Ketia, do you know do you know what club you play for, mate? Do you know what club you play for? And not just in Ketia, to be fair. But but he's the one that was copping his ears and like What? I'm sorry, I felt secondhand embarrassment from that, yeah? On Twitter, we are getting fucking slaughtered for that. And rightfully so, by the way. Rightfully so. Why on earth are our players celebrating like that? A fucking equaliser against Fulham. That reminds me of when Daniel James did it for Man United against Crystal Palace and they went on to lose the game. Who, like, you play for a big team. You shouldn't be celebrating late equalisers like that. You can say, okay, look, celebration, feeling happy for scoring, yeah, cool. But to cup your ears and to have all the players, like, all the players fucking screaming, hugging him, <laughs> it's just fucking embarrassing. And then on Twitter, I'm seeing people post the AFTV reactions to that. I'm like, I prefer not to speak on that. But personally, yeah, I, I just said yes. But then I, I wasn't fucking jumping around, celebrating, screaming. Like we just fucking scored the winner. If that was the winner, then yes. We, bro, the players have all the right to celebrate. The fans have all the right to celebrate, yeah. But that's a fucking equaliser. Why, why is man celebrating like that? You know, but but... I am going to give him credit for scoring the goal. So in Ketia, big yourself up for scoring the goal. I like I don't want to sound like a twat for just slating it for the celebration, not giving him any credit for the goal because he scored the goal. And without him we would have lost the game, so fair play. But still, man, the celebration just it, it. The whole game to be fair was just uh, it was flat. It was one of those games where we played against a low block, created a lot of chances, but couldn't couldn't score any. The ball the, the, the ball just didn't want to get in. We had a goal disallowed in the first half. Um, I don't know how the fuck that was disallowed. Like, if that was disallowed, then the second half, yeah, how that penalty shouldn't have been given because the Fulham player was offside when the ball was played through to him as well. But that was given. And Gabriel barely fucking... He just put his foot in, barely touched him. He fucked the, the guy fell over. I don't know how the fuck that was a pen. I'm sorry, I have no idea how, that, how that's a fucking penalty. Like, we got done dirty today. And at the end, even when we equalised, they actually were try, they were trying to rule out that goal. I am so glad that they didn't rule it out. I'm so glad. They were literally about to rule it out, mate. Like, what the fuck? Really, VAR? Really? But, bro, the whole performance. Like, we, we, could, we could have scored so many today. The XG was mad. But it's just one of those days, isn't it? Like, I'm scared. To, if we play like this against Villarreal, we are going to get absolutely fucking punished. They're, they're a better team than Fulham. Let's bear that in mind. Like, we play like that against Villarreal, yeah. Oh, my word. But I was glad to see, like, Matt Ryan starting goal. You know, he deserves a chance. And he, oh, he pre-assisted that goal. So, yeah, big up Matt Ryan. Like, didn't have much to do in the goal today. And... To be fair, what I like about Matt Ryan here yeah, is that for for his height, he's a short keeper, but the way he just jumps and catches the ball, it's it's like he catches every single ball. Like he's a very he's got very strong wrists, strong hands. So Matt Ryan, yeah, big yourself up. And uh, I want I want to see you push Leno for that goalkeeper spot. And uh, one last thing I want to say: Why the fuck are our fans on Twitter slandering Gabriel? Gabriel is, uh, bruv, Gabriel is the one player I'm backing to the death and I will die on his hill, yeah, Gabriel is our best centre-back, today it wasn't on him, Gabriel is literally our best defender, our fans need to stop fucking disrespecting him, seriously, I'm fucking annoyed, like literally, Gabriel started off the season strongly, won three player of the months in a row, in a row, bruv, and now all of a sudden fans are, fans are trying to turn on him, fuck off, them fans, yeah, don't deserve shit. They don't deserve shit, bro. Gabriel, yeah, is our best centre-back. Our best one. He's young as well. He's only 23 years old. He's only, he's only going to learn as he grows older. Like, so why if... Why if I've seen, seen dickheads say that they should sell him and shit. Are you, are you dumb? Are you high, bro? Fuck off. That's all, I've, that's all I've got to say for today's game, man. After, them, them, them afternoon games, like, they barely, they barely happen for us at home anyway. Like, it's just a weird one today, man. But, yeah, on to the next one.